It's me, Katie. Welcome back to Stella Spotlight. I've had quite a few requests to do a modest lookbook and I figured now would be a pretty good time because it kind of falls in line with back to school season as well. But honestly, you can wear these outfits whenever, wherever. On top of that modest stipulation, I've also tried to keep all the looks really comfortable, quick and easy to put together. And also I'm going to be restyling a bunch of the same pieces because that is like the ideal wardrobe you want to re-wear the pieces you love which brings us to today's video sponsor as well which is karma an app and chrome extension which ensures you never miss a discount code or price drop they really helped me with working towards building my dream wardrobe step number one was helping me quit that impulse shopping addiction it made such a big difference to be able to weigh up and analyze the options before just diving into the purchase not to mention also helped me save hundreds of dollars with the discount codes. So if you're looking to shop smarter, you'll definitely want to check them out. Links down below in the description box. It is super quick and easy to download. And from then on, you can just consider them your best friend while online shopping. Whenever you see an item you like, you can just click that button and add it to your designated wish list. And then they can let you know via push notifications or email whenever that item goes on sale, has a designated coupon code or comes back in stock. And these wish lists I was talking about are completely customizable. You can break them up however you prefer Typically, I like to go via aesthetics or sometimes even staple pieces. And once I've finally decided on a purchase, I never click the checkout button until I have clicked the Karma button first because they can instantly scan the internet for the best available discount code and apply it automatically. Keep in mind this feature is exclusive to the Chrome extension though. And when you're shopping with these select retail partners, Karma actually gives you cash back. So please feel free to download the Chrome extension and try it for yourself. The link will be on screen as well as down below in the description box. Okay, let's start off with my favorite way to look put together whilst doing the absolute bare minimum. Of course, it's a good old matching set. I only picked this up a few months ago, but it quickly became one of my most worn. And I think it's because both the pattern and the silhouette are such a classic, especially in line with my personal style, which is so important when you're looking for pieces you can wear over and over again. Here, I decided to keep things very simple, just an all black base to really let the pattern pop. The boots push it in more of a 90s direction as well as dressing it up, so if you prefer something more casual, a simple shoe change is all you need. The best thing about a two-piece set is its versatility. You don't just have to wear it together, you can use them as separates as well. Here I'm styling just the skirt and not gonna lie, at first it was kind of giving Christian girl autumn vibes, which still is a look, but for me to feel more comfortable and just more me, I guess, I would throw on any sort of funky headwear. This fluffy patterned one happened to win out today and I do like that it brings more texture as well as a subtle pattern clash to the mix. I mean, I'm sure you could see this coming, but on the flip side of that, I'm styling just the vest now. Vests of any kind are such a wardrobe staple for me. They're a great way to add a bit more flair to your look without having to layer on excess bulky fabric. I will admit I was influenced to find these cargo pants on Depop after seeing one too many Twilight core inspired TikToks. But you could totally still stick with high-waisted if that's what you feel more comfortable with and also gives a little bit more coverage. In a recent video, I mentioned that I can't stop wearing my earmuffs, but I finally switched it out for a pair of headphones. I figured this was better for a day-to-day -day look. <laughs> Overall, this turned out to be one of my favorite outfits of the bunch, which I honestly never thought I'd say about a pair of low-rise pants. <laughs> And conveniently, here is an example of how I would style them when I'm not so much feeling the low rise and do want that extra coverage. I know often people talk about balancing your proportions like little top, big pants, big top, little pants, but sometimes I just want an all over baggy fit. And if you're feeling like it's a little bit too sloppy like this, my biggest tip is just to match your accessories. Instantly, it's gonna bring the look together. And this one is actually loosely inspired by the baggy clothing king himself, Kim Taeyong. So if you weren't really a cargos person, you could totally switch it up with jeans like he has. Seemingly, I've just been really in the mood for neutrals recently, which is kind of odd for me, but here we are. Just one more look with the cargos, we're trying to get the most bang for our buck here. It's actually the exact same base as look three with the long sleeve, the pants and the sneakers. All I've done is just switch out that vest for this little lingerie top instead. This is the easiest way to style these in a more modest setting. It's a great way to make what's typically considered a more feminine piece a little bit more casual. Okay. 
If I wanted to dress up that top combo a little bit, I would just slip into this floral midi skirt instead. For some reason, I just love wearing my Mary Janes with this length of skirt. I think it's very flattering. And also these blush tones, I think team up great by grounding the look with some black elements. And what a surprise, Katie still can't make a decision to save her life. I didn't know if I preferred styling this as a skinny scarf or tied around as like a high-waisted belt illusion. I don't know, the jury is still out for me on this one, but maybe you guys can deliver the verdict. The next few looks are going to be featuring the most basic of bases, a black turtleneck and black yoga pants. Realistically, when you're talking about comfortability and back to school season, this just feels like a no-brainer. Lazy Looks 101 was just screaming at me to simply add a sweatshirt. Not every look has to be a 10 out of 10. We can just be comfy. At this point, this cat sweatshirt is probably in my top five most worn items. And I'm more than happy to just wear it super casually like this. If I wanted to jazz the look up just a little bit, I'd probably slip into my cowboy boots. You guys know I will throw these on with literally anything, even if half the time it doesn't necessarily go. But discovering pieces like that that I fall back on no matter what definitely made me feel like I was one step closer to actually achieving my personal style. If you're feeling like a sweatshirt is a little bit too laid back for your taste, I would simply just switch it out for a knitwear item instead. It's pretty much just the same level of cozy, but for some reason, it feels like it has a little bit of extra oomph to it. I particularly love ones like this that have a little bit of a longer length to them. They hit at such a flattering point, especially if you're teaming them with pants that are slightly flared. If you can be bothered, just a couple accessories can really go a long way. I opted for some layered necklaces and also this little knit hat, which totally makes me feel like a little garden gnome. We are still sticking to the same base. Another way to easily level it up to a more polished look though is with an oversized blazer. Pinterest chic girl is not necessarily my top style preference though, so I really like that this one has the denim accent to keep it a little bit more fun and casual. If it still feels a little too much, you can dress it down further by switching out the turtleneck for a plain white tee and throwing on a baseball cap. It's giving very K-pop idol airport fashion, which I love. Instead of just a plain t-shirt, of course, a graphic tee can be a great option too, especially if you're looking to inject a little bit more personality into your look. The design on this one is so playful and it has definitely been a conversation starter for me. Although typically it goes along the lines of, oh, that's such a cool graphic, is it from anything? And when I admit that it is K-pop related, the conversation usually abruptly ends shortly after. So <laughs> maybe keep that in mind when you're picking a graphic. Finally, we're gonna move on to a new base, although it's not actually that different. It's still all black, but this time it's quick and easy because it's all in one, it's a dress. The first way I'm styling it up is another one of my favorites of the entire video and also probably seems somewhat familiar because I feel like this is an outfit equation I often turn to. Typically, I might wear it with like a plaid mini skirt though. So I wanted to show you that it still looks just as cute even with more coverage. I even kept the same white button up for this look and similar to the previous one, tried to cinch it in at the waist this time with a harness. I couldn't help myself and also accessorized with this tie. I recently thrifted this and the reason I picked this color out of the hundreds that were there was because it reminded me of the Fukuro Dani uniform. And you know what? Some of us really need all the help we can get with just the smallest comforts to get us through the day. I wasn't sure if it was doing a little too much, so I tried it without the harness as well. And I think it does give like a modified school uniform sort of effect. I decided to bring the vest back from earlier as well as potentially one too many accessories. I'm not entirely convinced with this look, gotta be honest. It was supposed to give, but it did not give what needed to be gave. Actually, you know what? The more I look at it, the more I like it. I think the only thing really throwing me off are the sneakers. I think it would look better if they were all black. This is such a lazy outfit, literally just a hoodie and a pair of pants, but the saving grace is the color palette. And it just goes to show what a big difference it can make if you buy a piece that already is doing the work for you. Ready, 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 ready. 
was still opting to keep things very simple, I slipped back into my black turtleneck and threw on a slouchy fit cardigan. I hate to sound like a broken record, but once again, what brings this look up is the accessories. And you'll notice that these are the same accessories you guys have been seeing me use over and over again. This beret, the same necklace, the sneakers, the bag. So even though you're using accessories to try and spice up your look, you don't have to have a huge variety. In actuality, I feel like reusing the same pieces helps you develop a signature look, which can really help develop your personal style even if you're experimenting with different trends or aesthetics. It felt like there hadn't been enough color for a Steal the Spotlight video, so I thought we'd wrap things up with this little number. This sweater vest is one of my favorites in my collection. I love the fit and length of it, but also the fact that it has multiple colors. It means that you can choose whichever you want and bring that into the rest of the look. Obviously today I chose the green with this zip up and I really like that it helps take the sweater vest, something that's traditionally a little bit more preppy and brings it into something a bit more relaxed. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you want to see more concepts like this or any other requests you want to see in the future. Don't forget before you go, if you are looking to build your dream wardrobe as well, to check out today's video sponsor, Karma. All those links are down below in the description box. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I see you next time. Bye!